he is a point on side AB of rectangle ABCD. So we have two quantities. The first quantity A is sum of areas of triangle APD and triangle PBC. And the second quantity, quantity B, is area of triangle DPC. And we are given four options. So the first one is quantity A is greater. The second one is quantity B is greater. The third one is the two quantities are equal. And then the fourth one is the relationship cannot be determined from the information given. And these are, you know, the typical comparisons that are provided in quantitative reasoning questions uh, asked in the GRE. So let's get back to this particular problem. So we have a point P on side AB of the rectangle ABCD. And we are asked to compare the sum of the areas of triangle APD and triangle PBC versus the area of triangle DPC. Now, at the first look, this may seem a little bit daunting, but let's see what information we can gather from this figure or from this picture. Now, it is obvious from this picture that the area of triangle APD, and the triangle DPC, and triangle PBC together, if you add those areas up, will be equal to the area of the whole rectangle. Now, if we take the height of the rectangle as h and the width of the breadth as b, then the area of the rectangle is bh. So we can write an equation like this. The sum of the areas of triangles APD, DPC, and PBC add up to bh. Now, what is the area of this middle triangle? triangle DPC. So if we draw the altitude of this triangle uh, from P to the base DC, so this is the perpendicular height of the triangle. Now this height or altitude of triangle DPC will be equal to H. It's the same as the height of the rectangle. And the area of triangle DPC will be half base into altitude. So its base is DC. So that's equal to the breadth B of the rectangle. And then the height is H. So it's BH by 2. Now if we substitute that in this equation, we get triangle APD plus BH by 2 plus triangle PBC equal to BH. And from this one, we note that triangle APD plus triangle PBC is equal to BH minus BH by 2. So that's BH by 2. And this is the same as the area of triangle DPC. So the correct choice for this particular question would be C. The two quanti quantities are equal. Now let's go on to another question also of this type of quantitative comparison. The cost of putting on a fence is D dollars per yard. We're given two quantities. The first one, quantity A, is the total cost in dollars of fencing all around a semicircular plot of land with radius R yards. And the second quantity, quantity B, is pi R D. So let's draw this semicircular plot of land first. Uh, so this is a semicircle. The radius is R. Now, the carved portion of the semicircle, so that that circumference of the carved portion of the semicircle would be essentially half the circumference of the whole circle. And we know that the circumference of the whole circle is 2 pi R. So the, the perimeter of the circumference of just that curved portion of the semicircle is pi r. 
But now we are talking about fencing all around the semicircular plot. So we are not just fencing the carved portion, but we would also have to fence along the diameter of the semicircle. So that provides the total perimeter in yards to be fenced as pi r plus 2r. And then if you multiply this with the cost per yard, this is the total cost of fencing in dollars. So it's pi r plus 2r multiplied by d, and that comes out as pi r d plus 2r d. So now if you look at quantity b in the question, so that's just pi r d. So clearly the cost of fencing in dollars is greater than the quantity b. So the quantity a is greater would be the correct choice in this particular question.